Yeah, so uh, just in terms, I know everyone would be keen to know and would have asked that question as well. So just giving some clarity on uh, KL Rahul, where he's at. So he's had a really good week here with us, uh, really trained well, done a lot of things. So he's progressing uh, really well on the, on the route that we want to take. Um, but he'll be unavailable for the first part, for the candy leg of the trip. Uh, we will be, the NCA will be looking after him for the next few days while, while, he's, uh, while we are traveling. Uh, we will reassess on the 4th. Uh, and uh, and then take it from there. But uh, signs are looking good, and he's progressing really well. So he'll be unavailable for the first two games, but we'll assess, like I said, on the fourth, and then we'll have uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, thank you. Yes, Shashank. Uh, normally, when you're constantly playing tours and matches, you don't get this kind of time to get together as a group. But uh, when you slightly away from the city to train and try different things. In that sense, could you just uh, take us through the things that you've been able to try out here? Basically, uh, some of the six days. Yeah, it's been it's been really good to have these uh, six days, and like you rightly said, uh, it gets really hard for us the amount of cricket we are playing uh, to have camps uh, and to have practice uh, sessions like this. Uh, you know, in my in my two sort of 18, 19 months or two years that I've been with the team now, uh, <laughs> probably had a chance to have. A couple of small camps with the Red Ball team, one in South Africa during COVID. Uh, we had a few days uh, before the test matches started there. And then we had one in Nagpur before the Australia series started. And actually with the White Ball team, this is the first time we've actually been able to have a group camp where everyone uh, has been able to come together. We've had a few days sometimes where we've come in a little bit earlier before matches. But but yes, to have this, um, to have access to these really good facilities, um, to be able to work on a lot of specific stuff. There was a lot of specific... Um, match simulation stuff done over the last three, four days. Um, we, have, we finished off the session with a, with a net session today. But, uh, but there was a lot of specific work done, uh, which, you know, like you rightly said, you know, sometimes as you're playing so much, you're traveling so much, it's, it's very, very difficult to do. Um, I really like this because, you know, for me as a coach, it really gives us, as coaches, it gives us an opportunity to really work on some specific things with players, really good play time to have conversations with players uh, about roles, about skills. Um, sometimes when you get into tournaments or just before games and it's a very you're sort of so keyed up and geared up towards just playing that particular match or that particular tournament uh, so it doesn't give you give you that time so um, so yeah it's been uh, been a really fruitful uh, four or five days with us we've had an opportunity to connect as a group we've had some chance to do some fitness there's been some fielding done on the side um, you know a lot of lot of skills with the bat and ball um, and really good facilities you know I'd really like to thank uh, KSCA and NCA um, for providing us uh, these facilities and, and just the quality that we've had over the last uh, six days has been superb. How happy are you with the return to full fitness of just Russell and also what it does to the pace body resources heading into one Asia Cup and then the World Cup? You have the complete pack to choose from. Yeah, it's, uh, it's great to have them back. Uh, have to have them back and to see them bowling and bowling well um, is, 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 is truly good. I mean, obviously... Yeah, just with someone we've uh, missed a lot over the over the last two years, I must say he's, he's not played uh, a lot of games, uh, you know. But um, but it's nice to have him back, uh, and we'll ease him into it, you know, slowly. It was nice for him to get those four foot sort of like the tour of Ireland, both of them to you know ease in with sort of some four overs bowling, um, and then now gives us a chance in the Asia Cup to build that up and pick that up, and and we have a whole month now to build and uh, build that up uh, before the World Cup as well. So. Yes, it, it does. It does. Um, it does gives us more options in the pace bowling department. It gives us an opportunity to uh, have more resources, and especially in a long tournament like a World Cup, um, you know, you want to have even if people don't make the final 15, you want to know that there are a couple of guys out there who are fit and who have quality and who you can replace just in case something happens. So, just having that full complement to choose from, um, I think, is a, a really nice thing to have, and it's good to have them back. Yeah, a couple of things. Firstly, like you rightly said, I mean, just to have that level of quality, um, just to have that level of quality uh, of practice that uh, we were looking to, um, we were looking to simulate, and some of the match simulations that we were looking to uh, work on uh, over the last few days, um, you know, uh, needed some quality uh, to make it really meaningful and. Um, meaning uh, make it more uh, competitive. Uh, so that was really good. It was also great from a lot of the 
uh, from for for the bowlers as well you know to be able to bowl in competitive situations to some of the top batsmen in the country um, also for some of our guys to be able to see what is the sort of talent of bowling that is there around the country and what is um, what is available uh, a lot of these guys are the targeted guys they are they are the performing players uh, guys who have been with the indian team before who have been uh, with the side as well uh, even just recently so um, so two folds like just to get the quality obviously in our practices but also for i think for us as coaches and as players and ajit was here for the first couple of days as well uh, for the selectors as well to see uh, see these bowlers because it's hard to get them all in one group uh, and it's tough to you know for us to be traveling and watching them play in different places but then to get them like this um, together and for us to be able to see them over 3 or 4 days uh, was was really good Yeah, so he's looked good. He's had no issues, no problems. I mean, it's uh, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward with him. He's come in, he's played. It's just now about us giving him game time. I think one of the things that he's missed is uh, is actually games and matches, uh, and that's something hopefully we can um, we can you know sort of give him in the Asia Cup uh, and build him up uh, towards the World Cup. But uh, in terms of fitness and in terms of everything, he's done really well in this camp. He's batted a lot. He's fielded. He's uh, you know he's ticked all the boxes. Uh, except of course the actual game time which uh, you know is something that you can only do when we actually play some games and play some practice games but uh, you know that's not like the real thing like international cricket and fortunately we've got some games now with this asia cup and a few games against australia to top that up and give him uh, an opportunity to uh, to to tick that box as well so in from our perspective it's only two less games that you know we the way we are looking at it it's actually just two less games that he is going to miss uh it's not so like i said we've got some games both him and shreyas are in the same boat he's i mean he's batting really well i mean kl's really playing well he's keeping well he's doing everything it's just a slightly more cautious approach with him you know uh, leading into the leading into the world cup he, he just needs to we'll have a, he'll have a couple of match simulations over, over the course of the next few days which gives him a little bit of a longer time out there in the middle um and it's you know we're hoping that it should be only two games that he misses Uh, and then should be available for the later part of the tour in in Kandy where we can again then pick that up there is an Australia series as well so i'm not too worried about it um, he's an experienced player both him and shreyas have played a lot of cricket they are very experienced players um and and hopefully we can uh, like i said just you know give him the game time after, after from the kakolambo leg so hi coach uh, this team has quite a few leaders in it um, along with rohit has been there's hardik and bumrah who have played in the past So, do you see this as sort of a healthy core leadership group building, where the collectors, you know, decisions and uh, discussions happening, or do you think it's more clear concerned with just one person in charge? No, no. I think we always have discussions with people, and like you rightly said, it's it's you know, it's obviously good to have some experienced players in the group, guys who've led in the past, guys who are leading even now, you know, in some of the teams with the with the Indian teams, because we've had to rotate quite a lot, and you know, there's been a lot of tours and a lot of cricket happening, and few injuries as well, so which has meant that. Um, you know there's been quite a few captains over the last couple of years um, some by design some a lot of it not by design because just you know the nature of um, just the nature of circumstances that that we found ourselves in but um, but it's good to have it's good to have that experience it's good to have that um, that knowledge in the group and i know that someone like rohit always dips into uh, a variety of knowledge in the groups that he has and and but he in the end of the day is the final guy who makes the the decisions but it's always really nice to have that um, that experience that group um, you know guys who um, who we can lean on uh, when required so we considering that we're going to be having only two tournaments asia cup and your australia series would it be would you be looking at more experimentation or just fixing the final piece of the puzzle heading into the world cup yeah i mean i, I, I to be very honest with you this word experimentation gets keep, keeps get getting thrown around a lot uh, without actually sometimes being um, thought through you know uh, I mean it's not that we're trying to sometimes experiment for the sake of experimenting sometimes there are specific reasons why you have to do certain things um you know just to give you an example the number 4 and 5 spot seem to get discussed and talked about a lot and it gives the impression that you know we don't have clarity on who was going to be there but to be very honest with you I could have told you 18 or 19 months ago uh, who were the two uh, or the three candidates who who we were looking at for the number 4 or 5 slot you know I mean, it was always going to be uh between um, shreyas kl and rishabh you know for those spots right from 18 months ago if you look back on some of the teams that we picked 18 months ago there was no uh, doubt in our minds 
Uh, obviously, it's unfortunate that all three of them in that position ended up with injuries in the space of two months. I mean, you know, what are the odds of that happening? And I don't think we can, nobody can calculate for that, especially with the limited number of games that we had in one-day cricket. You're also focusing on the T20 World Cup or World Test Championship. You're trying to balance all of that out. You're trying to give enough game time to people. And all three of the guys who were sort of pushing for those two spots uh, got injured in the space of three months and not small injuries, right? Serious injuries. All three of them have had, um, all three of them have had to go under the knife and haven't had operations. So when that happens, then you have to react to that. Then you've got to try and put other people in those positions, see who can do it just in case, you know, uh, come a World Cup or come a big event, they're not able to get ready, right? You can't predict. We cannot predict whether they'll 100% get right or not, right? We're all, as we're seeing even now with KL, sometimes you've got to give it a week extra, a week less. These things can happen. Uh, so in that situation, then we did try with a few people. We did uh, rotate a few people around, looked at few people. But, uh, you know, it's good to know that at least two of the three uh, seem to have, um, you know, got to a point where they've uh, recovered and should be available for us. So, so that's good to know. But in the meanwhile, when people are not available, you have to try other people and you have to look at other people. So... Um, so, yeah, so, I mean, I think at this point of time, for us, it's really about just giving game time to people and ensuring that, um, you know, we give them enough opportunities to play in the roles that they're going to play at um, in the tournament. And, um, and yeah, that's always been the endeavor. Final, final question. Yeah. Uh, Rahul, a World Cup at home. Personally, for you, how does that uh, define your legacy as a coach in the first time of the England team? Oh, I'm not into <laughs> legacies as a coach or anything like that. It's exciting to play a World Cup at home. I must say that it's going to be, um, it's really going to be exciting for everyone, for the boys, for the fans. Um, yeah, there's going to be a certain amount of pressure associated with it, which is uh, which is most welcome and uh, which I think we all expect. But also to be able to play in front of your own home crowds, your own fans, um, is is going to be very special for for everyone. Uh, and we hope we can have a really good tournament. You know, I think we've prepared, we're preparing really well. Uh, we're building up really nicely. It's all hopefully coming together nicely with, you know, some of the guys coming back from injury just at the right time for us. And hopefully we can give them a few games and set it up really well. Uh, we've thought about this for a long time, this tournament. Uh, it's nice that it's finally there at our doorsteps and uh, we're as well, as well prepared as we possibly can be. Uh, there's some, going to be some really good teams in this tournament. Uh, I think that whole thing of... You know, I think that home advantage, especially in the subcontinent now, is, is got reduced to a large extent over the last 10, 12 years because, you know, people come and play here so much, uh, especially in tournaments like the IPL. You know, you have people here for two, two months getting used to these conditions. So it's going to be a really close tournament. I think it's going to be a tight tournament. Um, we feel confident. We're really excited, looking forward to it. Uh, I, I, as a coach, am really looking forward to it as well. Um, but, no, I mean, I, you know, you don't, you don't think about these things as legacy and stuff that's not really what I think about and try and stay in the present and try and do the job that I can now and not worry about the future humse jude rehne ke liye hamare youtube channel ko subscribe kare aur nai video ki notification ke liye bell icon ko dabaye agar aap ye video facebook par dekh rahe hain to like zarur kare aur zyada se zyada share kare dhanyawad